Hey, what's up all? Alan here with Damn Good Reviews. So if you have a pool like me, whether it's Coleman, Intex, any of those brands, you probably know that the filter that is included has pretty horrible suction power and does not work really well with cleaning the pool. So what's the option? Well, you could upgrade that pump for a few hundred or maybe a thousand dollars, or you can go with something like this. Now this is a battery powered pool vacuum. Look at that, pretty cool, right? So you're like, all right, well, what's the difference between the two? Well, besides size and a few other little things here and there that we're gonna go over in the video, this one pretty much you can pick it up at almost any online store, where this one, you're gonna to have to go to a brick and mortar type pool store to get it. But right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the WaterTech Pool Blaster Max, as well as the WaterTech Volt FX8 battery powered pool vacuum. Look at all that debris that was sucked up with this thing. This right here is the Pool Blaster Max. So that's what the unit looks like. You can see it. It looks like one of those dust busters you may remember, but it is battery powered. Now this thing, it worked great. That pool right there is an 18 by 54. This worked fine. It lasted well over an hour and it actually has an attachment in the back so you can put it on one of the poles. But what I did, you'll see in the video, is I actually just dove down kind of with it and did it myself but the suction power it blew me away it was crazy how much this actually worked uh and sucked all the debris right up no problem whatsoever you don't have to worry about running hoses and connecting the filter anything like that you charge it up you are good to go and then you just clean that filter out when you are all done also worked really well for the hot tub because the hot tubs they can tend to be a little bit harder to clean you get some debris in there but i just right off the bat i was blown away with how well this worked and the other great thing is that top is flexible too so you can go up the walls nice and easy it is really awesome so right now i'm in the pool and while there's not tons of algae or growth there are some little things here and there that i'll be definitely able to pick up either using the volt fx8 or the pool blaster max so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna dive down i'm gonna show you some stuff underwater see how that works so i think with the volt fx8 where that has that extension. We're probably gonna do that again over in the hot tub unless I find some areas underneath the pool where I can really use that suction tube. It looks pretty cool, but I'll just show you real quick what, we're, what I'm dealing with underneath. One thing I wanted to really show you there was just how it conforms to the side of the pool. Now this is one of the summer waves, just like the Intex, where it's just the vinyl, so you're not using any metal, you know, that's keeping it in. And with that, it still conforms really nicely, and that's awesome. And it picked up at that algae really easily. The suction power is awesome, and uh, it also kind of floats, which is also really good. So if you just drop it and let it go in the water, you don't have to worry about it too much. Let me just go ahead and grab one of the poles that I have and make sure that fits. This is one of the poles that I had with the Intex one in the past. And my guess is that it should be standard and should fit. So, so you'll see how it just locked in place, no problem whatsoever. And then if I go ahead and turn that on, you can go ahead and easily just keep that going. You can do it in the pool, from the side of the pool. You don't have to worry about the electricity running. You know, if you have one of these easy setups, really great. And you can see all that stuff coming right off. While this one had plenty of power for the pool and you can pick it up at many places, if you're looking for something a little more powerful, this is the Volt FX8 by WaterTech. This one is only available at pretty much all brick and mortar stores, like the pool supply stores and things like that. So you can't really get it online, but you can go pick it up. The great thing about this is not only is the chamber a little bit bigger, it actually includes another type of mesh filter too that you can wash it out. And then the head here that you see this, it's flexible, but it's actually a little bit bigger head, easy, to connect it and then the cool thing about this one is it actually comes with a hose attachment so if you're doing anything like a spa or need to really clean other areas then it's good to go 
but this thing is super powerful. I use this a bunch of times. It actually has a pole attachment there, which is a standard pole for like other vacuums. But I use this actually for more than an hour and the pool right there is an 18 by 54 and it has worked great. I've used it on both the pole for the vacuum as well as just going in and holding it under the water by myself. So let's take a look and see how it actually performed. Bigger unit, probably more powerful with the suction. The battery power was higher. Uh, I think it was around 500 said where the other one was like 350 or 360. Same idea at the bottom there with the scrubbers and a flexible head. You got the internal filter there. It can be easily removed and taken back out and washed. You can always get new ones right on their site. So pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead. This one's charged all the way up. We're going to see how this one performs and works with this pool. Also on the back, you can always, you know, easily put in any type of extension pole that is, you know, a normal pole for other types of, you know, other types of vacuums. There it goes. And it's also going to float a little bit. So really just an awesome, awesome product, both of these right across the board. And, you know, I think just depending on the size pool or spa that you have will be dependent on what size you're going to want to get here. Obviously, this one being more powerful. I mean, that suction power, I really wish that I could show you what that suction power is like. I tried to show it on my hand, but you really can't get an idea um, of the force of it. And it really is, it's a lot. So if I just go under here with that. Let's see, just to see this thing kind of get sucked in. See if we can get that right down there. Whoop, it sucked right in. Not that it really shows because that was only really grass, but still, it works great. And the other thing is that I like that they both float, so if you were to happen, just let it go. It's going to float, not just going to sink to the bottom, which is really cool. Both of them did that. Uh, pool is looking really nice right now. There are some spots because I didn't get all of it. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just keep testing this out. I'm going to keep working with the larger one, the FX8, and see how long we can go with it. And just to keep that running, probably only going to be in the pool here for about 20 minutes. But then I'm going to do it again in like a day or so or two days. And um, just keep it on the same battery charger and swap back and forth between them to see how they continue to run. So let me just do that and we'll see you soon. So use and cleanup is extremely simple plugging in the battery, just charging it up and ready to go once it's all charged. And it was great. You know, it's a little bit heavier if you're holding it outside of the water, but once you're under the water, it is really not that bad. The thing about this, it truly blew me away by how much suction power this thing and the other one actually had. It is really, it's amazing. And because of these pools that have those little filters there that have no power, just spend some extra money, pick up one of these guys. It is totally worth the money. Either go with the bigger one if you feel like you need that for a larger pool. You can probably even do a smaller in-ground pool with this. I don't see why not, probably with both of them. But this one with the bigger head is gonna be a little bit better. But you could probably do it with both of these. You have one of the pools like I do, I highly recommend just drop the extra dollars and pick up one of these. You are going to love it. It makes things so much simpler. And yeah, maybe at one point we're probably gonna upgrade that pump so it doesn't run all the time. But for now, this is the way to go. Love it. And think you'll love it too. I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe right here. Click that little bell icon to stay up to date with everything I do. And I'll see you all real soon.